welcome back to your daily video announcements. I'm Ryan McCormick. And I'm Jack Ward. Today for lunch, it's French bread, it's French toast, sausage, fruit, and a cold milk. Let's go to weather with Ryan Goebel. Welcome back to today's weather forecast for today. It's going to be cloudy with a high of 43, with winds to the north, northwest at 25 to 35 miles an hour. And it'll be mostly sunny later in the afternoon. That's all for weather. Now back to you guys in the studio. Let's take a look at our top five news stories. Cedric County Health Commissioners begins relaxing some COVID-19 restrictions. Two, federal mask orders now affect of all airports. Three, Amazon says Jeff Bezos steps down as CEO. Four, Dillon's Pharmacies may soon be administering COVID-19 vaccines. Five, Golden Globe nominee nominations announced streaming services well represented. On February 3rd and 4th, gift bags will be in the Commons for Mental Awareness. Check your grade level Google Classroom for a survey. Finally, finally let's look at a day in, at this day in history. February 4th, 1945. In the final months of World War II in Europe, the top Allied leaders meet at Yalta in Ukraine, then part of the Soviet Union. President Franklin Roosevelt, Britain's Winston Churchill, and Soviet leader Joseph Stalin discuss plans for Nazi Germany's defeat and its post-war occupation. 1997. A civil jury in Santa Monica, California, finds O.J. Simpson liable for the deaths of his ex-wife Nicole and her friend Ronald Goldman, Goldman's father Fred. Our family is grateful for a verdict of responsibility, which is all we ever wanted. And we have it. Thank God. 1974. Newspaper heiress Patty Hearst is kidnapped in Berkeley, California, by a group calling itself the Symbionese Liberation Army. Hearst, who is captured the following year, says her kidnappers had brainwashed her into committing robbery and extortion. 2004. The Massachusetts High Court says same-sex couples are entitled to nothing less than marriage and that civil unions are not sufficient. 1976. In Central America, a severe earthquake strikes Guatemala and Honduras, killing more than 22,000 people. And 1902. Aviator Charles Lindbergh, who made the first non-stop solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean, was born in Detroit. Today in History, February 4th, Brian Thomas, The Associated Press. That's all for today. Stay classy, VC.